Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. And today we're going to take a look at what is coming next for you in 2023. What can you expect? The first card out. The Eight of Pentacles. So Aries, I feel like you are working very hard. I feel like you're working very hard to succeed. You may really be looking for success. <clears throat> and you have the Tower in reverse. So I feel like changes are coming, but you're kind of resisting these changes for this year. Don't resist. Go with the flow, Aries. Go with the flow of the change. The tower comes to take away something that isn't working for us. Um, and there is usually and always something better on the other side of that change. So go with the flow of the change, Aries. Okay, yeah, you have the lovers. Wow, so if it's love that you want in 2023, after this tower occurs, after this change, you have love coming in. And we have the Hierophants. Okay, so Aries, I feel like you are really working on yourself. You're working on your image. You're studying. You are... Um, maybe manifesting something into your life. Um, maybe you are a light seer and you are working on yourself and your abilities. But I feel like in this situation, it's bringing out something more spiritual within you. Okay, and we have the Knight of Wands. These are beautiful cards. This is the Spellcaster deck. Very beautiful cards. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, you know what? This person that's coming in, this person, this person may also be a teacher. They also may work with people. They also may um, be... They may be teaching you something. Um, I feel like whatever this love interest is teaching you, I feel like it's bringing a spark within you. It's bringing out your creativity. It's making you feel more like a free spirit. And I feel like this is very fiery and passionate. If you haven't met this person, 2023 is when it's going to happen. This is what's coming to you, Aries. Beautiful energy. Definitely. You have the King of Cups. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of love coming your way in 2023. Definitely a lot of love. And you also have the Two of Swords. So sometime <clears throat> during this love interest, you're going to have important decisions that you need to make. Um, I feel like this person is going to ask you to rela relocate with them or move in or, you know, ask the important questions. The questions that that aren't just your everyday questions. This is something that's going to be a hard decision to make. But I feel like, especially with this wolf in the background, I don't know if you can see that. I feel like with this wolf in the background, I feel like you are, you're really anticipating what's coming next. I feel like the choices that you make are very life-changing. And especially being right underneath the 
the reverse tower. I feel like, you know, these choices that you need to make, don't hesitate. Don't put them off. Don't um, try to delay them. These choices are very important. There's something that you need to really take time and consider, have deep thoughts, uh, weigh your options. Um, but whatever this change is going to bring, it's going to be life changing for you. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, I'm feeling like this person is coming into your life. This person is really kind of making you take a look at yourself, take a look at your habits, at your rest periods. I feel like this person <clears throat> is really making you think about changing your appearance in some way. I feel like you, if you haven't been resting well, I think that you're going to start resting more, start taking time out for yourself more in 2023. I feel like you are, you're just looking out for yourself and your well-being more than you did before in 2022. I feel like you're, you're, this person that's coming into your life, they may be health conscious. They may be um, one that works out, one that watches their carbs, or one that eats certain foods. And I feel like that's kind of coming across on your end because of the habits that they have. I feel like you're taking on their habits. Okay, and you have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, definitely. You know what? Definitely. Because with the Ace of Swords, you're taking on new energies. You're focusing on new ideas. This is the beginning of a true mental change for you. I feel like you're looking at things totally different than you did before in 2022. It, it's a total just opposite perspective. Okay, and you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so I think that this person that's coming into your life, I feel like they're going to give you such a huge perspective. They also want to take care of the of you. They also want to give you what you need. Um, they want to take care of you. Definitely, because at the bottom of the deck, you have what you don't see. They're viewing you as the empress. You are the empress. You're very beautiful. You're very abundant. You have all of the spark of life within you. And that's how this person sees you. This person sees you as very hardworking, you know, and they, they see you as someone that they're capable of being with for a long term, for, for giving you kindness and love and thoughtful, thoughtful words and gestures. And I feel like with the Empress at the bottom, what you're not seeing is a totally new you. This this is just you breaking free of any blockages that you had in the past, of anything that was holding you back, anything that was surrounding you that may have been negative. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification here. Okay, spirits. What is coming forward for Aries? in 2023 what's coming forward in Aries yes page of Pentacles so yeah if you're if you're looking for work because that's on the eight of Pentacles um, if you're looking for work if you're changing pos positions I feel like you're gonna you're gonna start that process this is gonna be a new beginning 
um, in a new career that you're looking at. Um, this may also you progressing into the process of going into a new career. But I feel like, you know, you're going to receive some kind of communication that's going to just give you a burst of energy that's going to want, want you to move in that direction to maybe a new career. And it may not be anything that you're thinking of right now. This is going to come to you. Okay, and you have the magician. So definitely, definitely you have all the resources that you need to succeed in anything that you put your mind to, especially with that being on the levers and the tower in reverse. You know, you have everything that you need. This is you manifesting something incredible in your life. This is very life changing. This is definitely a new beginning. You're turning your visions into realities. Whatever you dreamed of doing, I feel like this new love interest, the lovers, has given you some kind of perspective that's bursting you with energy to just do something that you really love doing, something that you're passionate about. Okay, and you have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, I feel like this may be you still working with any insecurities that you have. But I feel like you're working on those insecurities. I feel like um, this could also be income related. I There you go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely income related. So the the job that you're pursuing, the passion that you are pursuing may not make as much as what you're used to making, but this is your passion and money will come. Um, so yeah, you, you're worried about the money aspect of going into a field or a career that you really enjoy doing but it doesn't pay as much as what you're used to seven of swords okay well with the seven of swords i think that you know you should be wary of anybody who has a negative vibe in 2023 um any any negativity any gossip any thing like that that's gonna kill your vibe um right now i see a lot of positive cards i see a lot of sparks i see a lot of influence that is pushing you into the right direction and there may be people that come around that don't understand that spark or don't understand your point of view but I'm, I'm saying to you that these people aren't you. They aren't you. So they can't live your life for you. You have to make your decisions. So when these people come around, just steer away of any gossip, any negative vibrations from people. Okay, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like I, you know what? I, I feel like this is you slowly building on your idea. You're slowly building on something. You are working hard. The Knight of Pentacles, they are hard workers. They work hard for what they have. And they're very abundant, very prosperous because they do work hard. They put their heart into what they're doing. They take time to make sure that what they have is exactly what they want. 
And he's taking it slow. He's taking his time. He's not moving fast. He's concentrating on what it is he loves. Okay, Aries. Okay, let's get some Oracle cards. Let's see what Oracles we have for Aries for 2023. Let's see what Oracle cards we have for Aries. Joy. Yeah, definitely. Aries, I feel like whatever you put your mind to, I feel like if it is love, if it's your career, if it is moving to a new career, I feel like concentrate on your joy for 2023. Concentrate on your joy and all of your happiness is going to come through. I feel like <clears throat> this is going to be a very prosperous year for Aries. And complacency. Yeah, whenever you feel stuck, whenever you feel like you're slowing down, Aries, look into your assertive side. As Aries is assertive, they're fiery. They're, you know, full of energy. So I don't see you slowing down at all. But in the rare moments that you do, keep moving. Okay. Let's see. We're going to take another card here. What do we have for Aries for 2023? Spirit, what do we have for Aries? Smoking mirrors. Okay. Yeah, be careful for those people who just want to take from you. Who just want to take and not give. Um, be careful for those people who just tell stories. Who can't seem to tell the truth. And you also have beautiful uncaging. So I definitely feel like whatever you're doing, you are discovering something brand new. You're coming out of your cage, Aries. You're releasing yourself from anything that's holding you back. Beautiful energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have Waking the Lion. So I feel like this is Leo energy. This, this is strength, courage, um, the will to move on even through hard times. This is the energy that the universe is saying that, that you are capable of. This is you, Aries. Okay, and one more card. Let's go ahead and finish off this reading with the architect card. You know what? After the architect, I may take a manifestation card. I'm feeling the manifestation. Okay, we have the kiss. Definitely, definitely love coming in for you. Definitely love coming in for you, Aries. And at the bottom, you have the castle. So, yeah, I feel like you... <laughs> this may be you, like I said, moving to a new destination with this love interest. Because I feel like this person is going to bring some sort of spark that's going to be intense. This is definitely going to be intense. You have a lot of major arcana here. So yeah, this is definitely an intense reading. This is something that you need to pay attention to. And when you feel like you're losing your strength, new moon and Scorpio, go deeper, go deeper. Look within yourself for the answers, Aries. You have this. And you also have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. So, um, yeah, make plans, assess the situation. There you go. Aries, trust. 
new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Okay, Aries, that is your reading for 2023. Now, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Happy New Year, Aries. This is going to be a beautiful year for you, full of love and excitement. Many blessings to you. Love and light.